and uh, this is uh, the first broadcast on TikTok. Uh, I'd like to welcome Africa is a project that uh, I started in uh, African descent, uh, whether in Africa, in the Caribbean, uh, in uh, Melanesia, uh, whether they are in uh, Europe, uh, in the United States of African descent. Uh, so that uh, we can work towards uh, improvement of their social and uh, economic uh, conditions on the continent. And uh, we encourage people uh, who are skilled uh, is uh, black mental health matter, uh, black mental health matter matters. And uh, black mental health the mental well-being uh, because many do not see that uh, is focused on uh, uh, providing a, a safe space for people of African descent uh, to discuss and openly about uh, mental health because uh, at this pandemic uh, mental health has even senses some have lost their loved ones uh, some have lost their jobs and uh, black mental health matters uh, is a mental, is an international mental health advocacy movement uh, that is bridging the gap between Africa and also the diaspora. Uh, you can see that the uh, the, uh, the cape that I'm wearing is uh, for Black Mental Health. Matters uh, speak about uh, uh, what you're going through, uh, share your struggles uh, with people you trust. Uh, you, you can reach out, uh, seek uh, for therapy services, uh, seek for, go for counseling if you have any problem. And uh, you can even reach out to us uh, so that uh, uh, in Black Mental Health Matters and uh, some could be even within your community. Uh, so reaching out uh, is uh, the first step uh, towards uh, opening this conversation that uh, uh, we need to have in Black uh, Naomi Osaka about uh, the mental health struggle, seeing the need uh, to, pen, uh, to open up and speak about what they are going through. And uh, this has also helped uh, break uh, whatever you're going through, you're not alone. Uh, there are many other people that uh, are going through the same or even worse. Uh, treat uh, mental health illness like any when you have uh, cancer uh, it's usually given a lot of attention but uh, when someone has a mental health crisis um, there is a lot of fear of being isolated being uh, being discriminated and uh, that's the reason why people don't come out we want to know uh, mental health is uh, just like any other uh, any you should not uh, discriminate or uh, stigmatize people that are undergoing mental health uh, struggles uh, instead you should uh, support them provide them the, uh, the kind of uh, has has been encourage uh, youth and women leadership and uh, without fixing leadership uh, in the African diaspora. We are not going to have everything, anything fixed. Uh, recently I saw that uh, Ghanaian youths were protesting, saying that uh, fix this country, uh, someone fix this country. I'm gonna do it for you. Uh, the Europeans are not going to come and fix Ghana for you. Uh, you, the Chinese are not going to come to Ghana and fix its own economic interest. And um, uh, this is something that uh, needs to get into your head uh, so that uh, uh, you 
build it for a self uh, philosophy, then we'll see the need work together. Then uh, it's, it's going to be uh, just the people who, who, who are supposed to build roads, they build roads that uh, don't last even for three, uh, for three. The end of it all, uh, they deliver uh, roads that uh, cannot even development, so that we can match uh, the Chinese. The work is done on time. Uh, if you give an African engineer, these are the things that we need to have a an open conversation. We have to attract for women of African descent uh, uh, to share the experiences. Also provides a platform to discuss about uh, issues that affect women. Uh, for example, uh, some even uh, uh, drop out of school. Uh, Re a reusable sanitary pads to African girls. Uh, they need to be to be educated. It's their human right. The sanitary pads uh, are who are increasing taxes uh, to remove that tax on sanitary pads, uh, so that uh, African girls uh, can afford uh, the sanitary pads. The United States. And, uh, uh, to share their stories. We have a website, uh, usafrica.gov.com. Uh, you can uh, submit your stories. You can whether they're in Africa or in the diaspora, uh, to share their struggle in the diaspora uh, to join the struggle uh, for a unified Africa and uh, of an African parliament uh, that uh, cannot even govern itself the, ungovern uh, the ungovernable uh, pan-African uh, uh, completely destroy a very good mission uh, uh, to continue draining our resources uh, we need and needs to be changed uh, so that uh, because we have a lot of experience on uh, Africa is in a, in a very chaotic state because that is created uh, based on uh, which tribe you are. Uh, it, uh, this uh, government, uh, that is the only way that to take uh, steps uh, to amend the constitution so that uh, different ethnic groups in Mozambique has, uh, has demonstrated uh, getting involved in African terrorism uh, groups, uh, uh, resolving their own conflicts, and uh, the African Union needs to wake up. Uh, uh, there is a lot of conflict uh, in uh, West Papua. Indigenous Black uh, Papuans. Recently, there was uh, uh, there was a racial assault. The Indonesian immigration officials, and then uh, thereafter they come out and say 
uh, he's the one that they attacked uh, humanity in West Papua by Australian military and uh, the US and oil resources. Uh, if you didn't know, West Papua is home to the world's largest gold mine. Uh, millions of indigenous people uh, live uh, in deep-rooted poverty and trading in the market struggle in West Papua colonizer that is uh, colonizing West Papua. Uh, Indonesia uh, is not a country that uh, uh, to be free men and women uh, relations with Indonesia uh, must be suspended. Uh, we appreciate your time and uh, uh, for, be, for getting involved. Uh, West Papua, that's the hashtag, uh, so that you can raise uh, the awareness. Uh, free West Papua. Uh, uh, another thing that uh, established uh, the African History Month uh, this year is uh, the history of Africa does not begin with slavery. And uh, black, this is the situation that uh, uh, Africa's enormous contributions. Uh, we trust uh, foreigners more than uh, we trust uh, our own people. Uh, shows that uh, we are in a state of uh, uh, mental enslavement. Uh, we cannot uh, trust our oppressors more than we trust our African brothers. Oppressors, more Eurocentric scholars, history, and the blessed Africa. And uh, these stories uh, that they tell, they do not. Uh, they not. Uh, they do. Not Uh, to work the United States of Africa no structures uh, in his poem Hey in the United States of Africa uh, thank you very much uh, for your friends in Africa uh, have been faced uh, uh, common challenges that we face Uh, this is uh, I'm from Nairobi, Kenya, and uh, I'm the president of United Gov. Uh, you can also follow us on uh, Instagram, US Africa Gov. Uh, thank you very much uh, for being.